Hi, James with the OneHourSmartHome.com. And today, we're gonna to give you five places to put a Nest temperature sensor to prevent your pipes from being frozen. I'm doing this video because I have one of these in my house and it saved my pipes from freezing last year during a cold streak when I was out of town. I got a notification that the temperature dropped below 40 where I had one of these sensors and immediately turned up the heat before my thermostat and my house got too cold and the pipes froze. A lot of other people in Chicago weren't so lucky when we had temperatures reaching minus 18 degrees. So here's five places you can put it that can help prevent your pipes from freezing and save you all the hassle, headache, and costs with frozen pipes, which usually in involve insurance companies, contractors, mold, and tons of renovations throughout your house. So the first one is put one of these in exterior walls or near plumbing in exterior walls. And the reason for this is because an exterior wall is where your pipes are going to get the coldest. So if you can put this actually in the wall, that's best. If you can hang it on the wall, that also will work. But you want this to be as close to the pipes as possible so it represents how cold those pipes are potentially getting so you can prevent them from freezing. Number two is your basement. And the reason for this is typically basements are less heated and less insulated than other parts of your house. You may even have exposed pipes which are more susceptible to freezing. So putting this near those exposed pipes will give you a good idea of what temperature those pipes are and help you prevent it from freezing. The other one is the garage. Maybe you have a sink in there, a spigot, or maybe you even have pipes that run through your garage to other parts of your house that you don't even know about. I know a friend that had this happen and they actually had pipes for their kitchen running through their garage. They didn't think anything of it until they came home to a waterfall in their garage and realized their pipes had frozen. So that's a reason to put one of these in there. These will work with the Nest E and the Nest Gen 3 thermostat and are a great addition for a Nest system. Number four, the attic. Now, most people don't have pipes in their attic, but some people do. If you had a renovation done, sometimes the contractor will run pipes up above instead of through walls, depending on what the access is. And this is a great way to prevent those pipes from getting frozen. Now, it depends on the location and how cold your place gets, but obviously a good investment if you have pipes over your head. You don't want those freezing and raining water down on you. Number five, kitchen sink or water lines. Now, this one's kind of tricky. So most kitchen sinks are in exterior walls because a lot of people like to have that window over the kitchen sink. And putting this back in that cabinet will be a great place to measure the temperature. The other reason to put it back there is because there is a cabinet, it limits the airflow from your HVAC system. So pipes in exterior walls that don't have airflow to them are extremely susceptible to freezing pipes. The other reason for this is you may have a water line that taps into your kitchen sink pipes that goes to your refrigerator or maybe to a water spigot or water filter. Well, those pipes are very small diameter, typically less than half of an inch, which makes them very easy to freeze. I've seen this time and time again, where the actual pipes that are for your house are well insulated, but the teeny tiny little pipe that goes to your refrigerator is not and that will run near an exterior wall or behind your refrigerator or places where it can get really cold. And nobody protects those with insulation. So having something like this is a great way to determine just how cold those pipes are getting behind your refrigerator. So we hope you like this video. This is a great investment to make to protect your home and your pipes from freezing. And the Nest temperature sensor, once again, can be added to any Nest E or Nest Gen 3 thermostat. If you have an older Gen, two thermostat or gen one thermostat i'm sorry but it is not compatible so thanks for watching this video please click the like button or subscribe and we'll see you next time for more smart home tips and tricks thank you